Corrosion in reinforced concrete is a prevalent issue that can lead to structural weakening and reduced lifespan. It results from the exposure of reinforcing steel to moisture and oxygen, which promotes rusting. This problem is observed in various types of infrastructure, including buildings and bridges, that employ reinforced concrete in their construction. You are watching a Captain Corrosion video where you will learn about the mechanism of corrosion in concrete, how to recognize this type of corrosion, its occurrences in daily life, and the methods that can be used to prevent it. This one will be hard to crack, so, let's break it down. The corrosion mechanism of reinforced steel and concrete involves an electrochemical process. When the reinforcing steel is exposed to moisture and oxygen, it undergoes an oxidation reaction that produces iron oxide, rust, and releases electrons. The electrons then flow through the steel and react with water and oxygen to produce hydroxide ions. The hydroxide ions then react with the calcium silicate hydrate and other minerals in the concrete, causing a decrease in pH and an increase in the porosity of the concrete. This creates an environment conducive to further corrosion of the steel, as it allows moisture and oxygen to penetrate deeper into the concrete, leading to more rust formation and expansion. The corrosion process can eventually lead to the formation of cracks and spalling in the concrete, further exposing the reinforcing steel to moisture and oxygen and exacerbating the problem. Detecting corrosion in concrete in its early stages can be challenging. However, several methods are available that can be used in various applications to detect corrosion. Visual inspection involves a physical examination of the concrete structure to look for signs of corrosion, such as cracks, spalling, and discoloration. This method is relatively simple and inexpensive, but it may not be able to detect corrosion that is not visible on the surface. Half-cell potential measurement involves using a device to measure the electrical potential between the reinforcing steel and a reference electrode. A low potential reading indicates that corrosion is occurring. Electrical resistance measurement involves measuring the electrical resistance between two points on the reinforcing steel. An increase in resistance can indicate the presence of corrosion. Ultrasonic testing involves using high-frequency sound waves to detect corrosion and other defects in the concrete. This method can detect corrosion in the early stages, and it provides a high degree of accuracy. X-ray computed tomography involves using X-rays to create a 3D image of the interior of the concrete structure. This method can detect corrosion, voids, and other defects, and it provides a high degree of accuracy. However, it can be expensive and may require the structure to be evacuated. Muon tomography involves using naturally occurring cosmic ray muons to create images of the interior of dense objects such as concrete. This method can detect corrosion and other defects, and it is non-invasive. However, its resolution is lower than other methods, and it may not be as widely available. Corrosion in concrete can occur in many different applications and structures that we encounter in daily life. Here are some examples. Reinforced concrete is commonly used in bridge construction, and the steel reinforcement can be vulnerable to corrosion due to exposure to moisture and to icing salts used on roads in cold climates. Parking garages are often constructed with reinforced concrete, and the constant exposure to moisture and vehicle exhaust can lead to corrosion of the steel reinforcement. Foundations of buildings and other structures are often made with reinforced concrete, and the presence of moisture in the soil can cause corrosion of the steel reinforcement. Swimming pools are typically constructed with reinforced concrete, and the constant exposure to chlorinated water can cause corrosion of the steel reinforcement. Structures located in coastal environments or submerged in water, such as piers, docks, and seawalls, are often constructed with reinforced concrete and are susceptible to corrosion due to exposure to salt water. Tunnels constructed with reinforced concrete are exposed to moisture in harsh environments, such as high temperatures or aggressive chemicals, which can cause corrosion of the steel reinforcement. Preventing corrosion in concrete involves proper design, construction, and maintenance practices. Some common strategies include Providing adequate concrete cover over the reinforcing steel to protect it from exposure to moisture and oxygen. Using high-quality materials such as low-permeability concrete and reinforcing steel free of chlorides that can accelerate the corrosion process. Applying protective coatings like epoxy or polyurethane to the concrete surface to prevent moisture and oxygen penetration. Installing a cathodic protection system that uses a sacrificial anode or impressed current to protect the reinforcing steel from corrosion. Providing proper drainage around the concrete structure to prevent the accumulation of water and moisture. Performing regular inspections and maintenance to identify early signs of corrosion and to conduct timely repairs. Routine maintenance practices such as cleaning and sealing the concrete surface can also help prevent corrosion. Thank you for watching our video about corrosion in concrete.
If you found this video useful, then feel free to like and subscribe. Also, in the description you will find links to additional resources such as online corrosion calculation tools, our handbook of corrosion and more.